Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Sully with Succulents by Sully and today we're going to take another look at my two pink lady plant cuttings. So if you remember, I propagated one via the soil method and a second cutting via the water method. Let's see what happened this week. Here both cuttings are at the start of week two. For the soil cutting, I think it's important to note that while I didn't see much growth in the main stem, there appears to be growth in at least two of the smaller stems. The water cutting continues to make steady progress in both forming roots and in growing inches. Today I noticed that more of the cutting appears to be below the water line, and I believe that as this cutting grows, more of it falls below an actively dropping water line. On week two, day two, the soil cutting looks like it grew about a quarter inch during the day. Another explanation is the cutting only appears to have grown as it straightens up towards the light throughout the day. The water cutting continues to grow into what will be a healthy plant. I estimate this cutting to now be around six inches in length, not including the roots. Here on week two, day three, the soil cutting really started to put on some length with regards to its smaller shoots. This has been one area the soil cutting has exceeded the water cutting's progress. Now the water cutting continues to perform well with just water. Most notably today is the appearance of three shoots starting to grow longer in addition to the main stem growing longer as well. On day four of week two, both cuttings are leaning in such a way it is difficult to accurately measure length. While I could reposition them, I prefer to let them do their thing and interfere as little as possible. Let's see where that takes us. On week two, day five, I begin to wonder, with the leaning of the soil cutting and the angles of the water cutting, how helpful are these measurements? I think it's good for reference points for each cutting against its own progress, but when comparing the two cuttings, the measuring tape can be misleading in a way. I'm not sure that I'll continue tracking growth in this way. So here we are on week two, day six. Looking at the soil cutting on the left, you'll see that it appears to have more space between its leaves and longer shoots towards its base. The water cutting on the right looks fuller and has more compact growth. And we do see it gain inches just like our soil cutting has done. So here's what I think is happening. With the soil cutting, my grow light is directly above it. That could explain why there's more space between the leaves and longer shoots as it reaches for that light. The grow light for the water cutting is in front of it, spanning the length of the cutting. So there's less reaching and this cutting's energy goes to producing more leaves per inch. At the end of week two, both cuttings are looking happy and healthy. Today, I have watered the soil cutting four times and I have left the water cutting alone. Something to keep in mind is that the water cutting started much smaller than the soil cutting. However, between the soil cutting shoots and the water cutting's fullness and root development, it's hard to say if one outperformed the other. In summary, both of these cuttings surprised me. The multiple shoots of the soil cutting lend it to being a strong plant. However, the water propagation method is almost foolproof. I think these cuttings are established enough to now transition outside. So tune in next week for another update. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.